President Obama standing firm on his vision for the Mideast, telling the country's largest pro-Israel lobby that his idea reflects longstanding U.S. policy. The borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. Now all eyes will be on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu when he speaks to a joint session of Congress this week, just days after meeting with the president to discuss his vision for the Mideast. Joining us live to talk more about this, Rabbi Chaim Lazarov with Chabad of Uptown. Rabbi, the Prime Minister not one to mince words. What are you expecting to hear from him? The Prime Minister will obviously reiterate what he said in public in this press conference so that 1967 borders is non-negotiable. It doesn't create a defensible position. But what concerns me is the path America has taken with each president trying to create another bold approach is in a way always asking Israel entirely to give up another piece of land in return for only a piece of the uh, Palestinian side of not shooting on women and children. Well, President Obama spoke to the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee over the weekend about the 1967 borders remarks. Uh, Rabbi, did he satisfy a lot of those in the group? Or do you feel any better about it after he, I guess you would, you would say, clarified what he meant? I don't, I don't believe he clarified much more than what he said, other than that it's obviously a negotiated border, which everyone understands that even before any negotiations begin. The problem with negotiations is that when you create a benchmark from where you start from, that is where the negotiations start start from being created. And uh, and when you say the 1967 borders is the beginning point, <clears throat> where does it end? You say a land swap, a land swap for the Golan, and that will be almost the entire land of Israel as a land swap. And when you start talking about that as the beginning of a negotiation process, it makes it impossible to create any kind of final uh, possible solution that will be sustainable. What impact do you see all of this having on the U.S.-Israeli relationship? I, I believe the U.S. relationship, the Israeli relationship, is, will still remain strong. Um, Israel stands stands behind the U.S. just as much as the U.S. stands behind Israel. But we definitely need to keep our eye on the ball, not to allow those those mutual relationships that we think are most important, which is creating the, the peaceful and sustainable situation in the Middle East, shouldn't uh, make us lose focus. Thank you so much, Rabbi Chaim Lazarov.